the Czech Republic boasts a well-equipped and modernized ground forces with a focus on maintaining a versatile and capable armor capability. Following the dissolution of Czechoslovakia in 1993, the Czech Republic inherited a portion of its military assets, including its tank forces. The Czech Republic has invested in the modernization and upgrade its tank fleet to ensure it remains relevant and effective in modern warfare scenarios. The backbone of its tank forces consists of upgraded variant of the Soviet-era T-72, including the T-72M4CZ, which has undergone significant modernization to meet contemporary battlefield requirements. The Trek T-72M4CZ is a modernized variant of the Soviet-era T-72 main battle tank, upgraded to meet the requirements of the Czech Army. The upgrade program was completed between 2003 and 2005. The T-72M4 upgrade package focuses on upgrading front protection, fire control systems, and engines with equipment originating from the West and Poland. The T-72M4 has a weight of 48 tons, length of 9.8 meters, width of 3.76 meters, and height of 2.80 meters. Compared to the T-72M1, it weighs about 7 tons heavier, mainly due to the addition of an armor package that enhances protection against new generation anti-tank weapons. Inheriting the design from the T-72, the T-72M4 upgrade also shares the low profile of the original tank and the three-man crew. The T-72M4 tank is equipped with a polished design Dyna Explosive Reactive Armor, providing protection against hit, APFSDS, and hatch anti-tank shells. Armor is arranged on the front of the hull, around the turret and the roof, to protect against types of orbital missiles that fly towards the roof to protect the most vulnerable part of the tank. The vehicle retains electronically controlled smoke related structures to create a self screening effect. Side skirt armor helps to increase protection from side attacks. In addition, the tank was added with full NBC protection and a fire detection and suppression system by German company Kider Dugra. In terms of firepower, the T-72M4 still uses the 2A46 125mm smooth gun and the original 2E28M stabilization system of the T-72M1. Improvements include upgrades to the fire control system and the gyro sensors for greater accuracy at the first shot. Some reports indicate that the probability of hitting a fixed target while on the move is about 65 to 75 percent. The T-72M4 is equipped with the new generation Officing Terms T fire control system, ballistic computer, and the same sensor used on Italy's most advanced C1 Arata tank. This fire control system has the hunter killer mode in which the commander acts as the hunter and the gunner is the killer. The commander will use day and night panoramic viewfinder with laser range fighter and infrared camera to search for targets. The information will then be transmitted to the gunner to destroy. During that time, commander looks for the next target. The T-72M4 can detect targets at 4.2 km at night and identify them at 2.1 km, far ahead of the old Soviet T-72 tanks. 
target detection range during the day is up to 5 km. In addition to the old ammunition of the T-72M1, the T-72M4 is also equipped with the check armor piercing APFSDST shell, which can penetrate RHA stair up to 540 mm at a range of 2 km. This tank is fitted with an autoloader. Auxiliary weapons of the T-72M4 include a 7.62mm coercion machine gun and a roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun. The 12.7mm machine gun is manually operated by the commander. The T-72M4 is powered by the British Perkins Condor CV-12-1000 turbocharged diesel engine, producing 1,200 horsepower far beyond the T-90, equivalent to the British Challenger 2 tank. In addition, Perkins engine proved to be more reliable and fuel efficient than the original engines. The new engine is combined with an Allison automatic transmission with four forward and two reverse gears, providing easy operation, ensuring maneuverability. T-72M4 can reach a maximum speed of up to 61 km per hour, range up to 700 km. This tank is compatible with third-generation main battle tanks. The changes created a heavier combat vehicle, but it was also more powerful and better protected than before. Czech T-72M4s are rated as modern as Russia's T-72B3 and even close to T-90. While the T-72M4 CZ fleet has undergone significant upgrades to extend its service life and enhance its capabilities, the Czech military recognizes the need for a more advanced and modern main battle tank platform to meet evolving operational requirements and maintain parity with potential adversaries. As a result, the Czech Republic has initiated programs to explore options for replacing or complementing its existing T-72M4 CZ fleet with next-generation ABT platforms. Recently, there has been some information regarding the possibility that the Czech Ministry of Defense is likely to buy the Leopard 2A4 or a newer version of this tank to replace the T-72M4 fleet.